Yeah, 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 it's your boy Fist in his house, bringing another great edition of Blops from me to you, because that's what I do. I'm going to call this episode the Placebo Fomas. Oh my goodness, I started thinking about it, and then people started making comments. They're like, Fist, is it possible that David Von Der Haar said they fixed the Fomas? But they never really give you details. They just say weapons are balanced. On you know, it's kind of like it's kind of like poker. You're like bluffing your hand. You're like, yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna nerf the Famas. You know, I got a I got a great hand. I got full house, baby. I got full house. I got you beat. I got you beat. Don't bet. Don't do it to yourself. And then you're like, this guy's bluffing. He's bluffing. You're bluffing and blopsing. You're blopsing and bluffing. Bluff blopsing. Bluffing blopsing. So I want you guys to do some digging. We need to find out what exactly, or at least somebody post me a link below here. Show me the difference in the FAMAS. Is it, is it kind of like, maybe it's like Modern Warfare 2 where uh they nerfed the 87s but if you went and in like i forgot what it was i made a video about it and said that if you add you know something to it and there was a glitch you know that the shotguns would still have the range with a certain type of power on it and i posted the video on the 87s on machinima i don't know if it's the same thing with the FAMAS, they said that the weapons are balanced, but yet maybe if you use extended mags, it has everything that the old FAMAS has, but even better. Maybe that's what it is, and I just don't know it. Is that what it is? It's thunder time! <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. So I don't know. You guys go ahead and uh, check out David Von Haar on his Twitter. Um, ask, you can ask JD2020. I mean, he is the community manager. I don't know why so many people feel like they have to talk to Von. And it just makes JD20's job so much easier that Von takes all the heat off of him. I don't get it, but he's like doing two jobs and only getting paid for one. Maybe that guy really loves the game. Hopefully, you know, he's not just giving us the old placebo move or throwing us on a, like a the poker face maybe he's giving us the poker face maybe I don't really know but I to be honest with you like I said I don't I only have I only have um, 2300 kills out of 60,000 kills with the FAMAS so I don't know maybe I'm maybe it's the nightingale effect or maybe it's the honeymoon effect that I'm having right now I don't know Hey, maybe it's having the fisticuffs effect. I got this damn weapon and I whip your ass, bitch. <laughs> I don't know. Um, you guys can look at that bullshit. What at that car? What it went around the block, came back. You know what? If you got the RC car, you should only be able to drive fucking one time around the track, not fucking die and have that thing drive. RC car is the biggest bullshit in this game. And it's only made for Christmas. I wouldn't be surprised if you have some fucking stupid ass helicopter for Modern Warfare 3. Listen, stop putting in streaks for Christmas. And especially low ones, too. It's ridiculous. You know, how does an RPG not take out a guy in a flak jacket? How is an RC car, I mean, get us like a super bomb on wheels? This shit, man, is amazing. They need to think about stuff like that. I know Activision wants to get paid with all their fucking trinkets on Christmas, but, I mean, enough is enough. Hopefully, Modern Warfare 3 is going to be the gamer's game. Yeah. All right, take a deep breath there, and... Oh, look at this guy. He's shot in your face. I'm going to go take a nap. And, oh, this is how we do it. It's your boy, Fist. Bringing it to you like I do. Until next time. Peace! Hi, it's, it's your boy Vaughn on behalf of Fisticuffs Peace. Oh, and a shout out.